Hello everyone, this is Dr. Bruce B. Baird and you're listening to the Productive Dentist Podcast. In this podcast, I will give you everything that I've learned over the last 40 years in dentistry, working with thousands of dentists. I'll tell you, it's not that my way is the only way, it's just one that has worked extremely well for me and, and I'd love to share that with you. So you too can enjoy the choices and lifestyle that productivity allows. More time for things you love, increased pay, better team relationships, and lowered stress. Let's get into it with this week's episode of the Productive Dentist Podcast. Hi, this is Dr. Bruce Baird with the Productive Dentist Podcast, episode 46. And today we're talking about what is your one, three, five? What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is what's your one-year goal, what's your three-year goal, and what's your five-year goal? This is something that, you know, most individuals don't do on a regular basis, and it's something that I've been doing now for, I guess, probably the last 30 years. Uh, I started out with uh, using yellow notepads, and the yellow notepads, I would write down, you know, these long lists of the things that I wanted to get accomplished this year in the next 12 months. And I usually would do this in January of every year. As a matter of fact, the productive dentist at our seminars and with the, our coaching clients, we actually do this every year with the with the office. We help design what is your one-year goal, what's your three-year goals, and what are your five-year goals. The one-year goals are important. You can even break them down to monthly goals, uh, even to hourly goals. But but I like to have a one-year plan that says this is where I'd like to be. And it we're not just talking about your dental practice. We're also talking about uh, any goals that you have. For instance, physical goals. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to weigh this much uh, by the end of this year, you know, and then I break that down into quarterly goals to say, okay, by the end of the first quarter, I'd like to be at this weight, the end of the second quarter, not only weight-wise, but I'd also like to have increased my muscle mass by a certain amount. I would like to uh, be, you know, doing my aerobic exercise. So that's one. Another one might be your spiritual goals. You know, I wanted to, I want to attend church every Sunday uh, this year when I'm in town, and I do that on a quarterly basis. If I don't go, then I have to reestablish that. Um, you know, I want to attend certain programs or certain opportunities. Professional goals. I'd like to get through these courses. By the end of this year, I'm going to sign up and I want to get through all of these courses over the next 12 months. Now, a lot of the things that I'm doing nowadays is a lot of online type type stuff, online courses and those types of things. So when I look at my practice, I'm saying, OK, uh, our practice did, say, one million last year. This year, I looked at all of my production by procedure reports. What procedures did we do this year? In other words, and what procedures did we not do this year that ordinarily we do? And I check this every single year. I also predict what we're going to produce for the year. In other words, how much are we going to produce this year? And when I say predict, how do you come up with a prediction that is accurate? Well, you can't do that if you're not tracking. You can't do that if you're not looking at all the things that you do on a monthly basis, a daily basis. A lot of people say, well, you know, I really have a daily goal. You know, when you break it down to hourly, you know, well, it doesn't really matter, truthfully, because you're going to be looking at your goals on an ongoing basis during that time. But I look at these daily, so I know where we're at. So let's just say you had yourself, an associate, and three hygienists. I set a production goal per hour say your goal is 700 an hour. What that means when you set a goal of 700 an hour, what that means is you're committed to 700 an hour. Meaning if you're going to work 128 hours this month, you have a goal of X amount for the month. I'll give you an example. Let's say you want to produce $90,000 in a month. Okay. And let's say hygiene, your goal for hygiene is to do 15,000 each per month. And your associate was to do, you know, 50,000 for the month. 
And when I say supposed to do, this is a commitment with the team that says, I will do that. So let's just say it's 90 and 50, that's 140 plus another 45, that's $185,000 in production in your practice. That's a two, two and a half million dollar practice or 2.2, 2.3 million dollar practice. This is a big deal. So as, as you look at this and you say, I'm committed to this, that means if you go on vacation and you're only going to work 12 days instead of 16, that means you're going to put your hourly production still to reach that $90,000 goal. Why do you want to do that? Well, from a financial standpoint, you've got to set your business up with a budget to actual. And I'll talk about that in future podcasts, but you've got to know you know, what you're budgeting for. It helps you run your business. This old deal, I wrote uh, a series of five articles in Dental Economics about what's called the dental roller coaster. One month we're rich, next month we're poor, we do great, we do poor, we do great, we do poor. That's not the way to run a business. Uh, it's stressful. It's very difficult. That's when dentists say, oh, I just think I'll go do something else, or they go through these these issues. And so from my perspective, this is what is so important, is to plan your plan and then to execute that plan. And in business, do that in, in your life, do that in, uh, I'm, I'm working on my golf game, you know, I really want to get my handicap down to a 10, uh, or whatever it is. Be realistic. I mean, if you're a 40, you're not going to be a 10 in two months, but you could set that up and break it down. So that that's the one-year goals. What about three-year goals? Those are when you start talking about educational goals as well as your business. What I would love to have is a practice that's doing two and a half million uh, by this this period of time, three years from now. And you can also break that down into 12 quarters. And so you're going to work this plan over a period of three years. And so this is where you're saying, I'd like to go through and I'd like to get all of John Coyce's courses taken over the next three years. Uh, I have a goal of I want to go to become digitally proficient in dentistry, which is the new wave. The new way that things are being done is lots of things are being done digitally from all on four, all on six to um, to impressions, to uh, Invisalign, to clear line or tra uh, trays, whatever it is, uh, making night guards. These are all things that are being done now digitally. So you're getting rid of all these impression materials. It is, uh, so that, that might be your goal over a three year period. Um, and so that's what I look at. What about over a five year period? What are we looking at? Well, at five years, you want, and every time this all shifts one year at a time. Does that make sense? So uh, I've got a one-year goal, a three-year goal, and a five-year goal. At the end of that year, I now push out another one-year goal, another three-year goal, and another five-year goal. So by setting out what do I want to be in five years, in five years, I would like to be doing community projects. I would like to be uh, have a take-home pay of 600000 a year. I would like to have... Uh, you know, my handicap down on my golf game down to 10 and being enjoyed and, and planning on playing uh, at least once a week. Or I want my weight to stay consistent at X. Uh, I want to continue to, to do my exercise because the truth is, if your business is healthy and you're physically healthy and you're spiritually healthy and, you know, you have your friends that you're getting to spend time with and you're doing the things that you love, that is, um, I mean, that's living. And so I really, um, I, I really implore you to set up these one, three, and five-year goals. Also set up an accountability partner with your coach or with uh, another dentist in your office. These are the things that I want to do for the office. And make that become a vision. You know, one year, maybe it's quarterly, uh, but start out by putting your quarterly goals or your monthly goals on a piece of paper. This is what I wanted at the end of the month. And so it is a, it's a process that you go through to find out how much time do I want to have? Uh, how much, how many days a week do I want to work? Yeah, I know that if I'm doing uh, 800 an hour, I'm making an amazing amount of, of, of revenue uh, and take home. So do I need that? revenue or do I, would I rather have time? Would I rather have time with friends and time with family? And that's going to change, you know, over this one, three, five, after you go through this process for 20 years, 
your needs and your wants and what you're, what, what's successful for you is going to change. Uh, you've fully funded your retirement plan. You've, you've put money away. You've done those things. Uh, you may set up over this period of time in a five-year plan. If you've been in practice for a long time, you may be saying, well, I sure would like to uh, retire at this point. I see way too many doctors that get to that point and say, okay, I need to retire. Or something worse, they, they haven't spent the time staying fit, they haven't spent the time doing the things that they need to do for themselves, and they, again, have difficulties. So you need to plan this out. Uh, what I've chosen to do, remember, is on a yearly basis, and then I break it down. I look at all of our production by procedure reports. I want to see exactly what our production was. And what's interesting, Jeff Booski, my partner, the first time he experienced this, probably 15 years ago, I said, this is what we're going to do. And in December, we would always meet and we'd go through the same things, the production by procedure, um, what new technology have we implemented? Are we using the technology that we talked about? Let's set our goal for this year. And our goal might go up by 5%, might go up by 8%, might go up by 10%, depending upon the procedures and, and what your goal is. And so I remember setting it up and I told Jeff, I said, next year, when we get to this point, um, you're going to see how predictable this is. And sure enough, the next year we got to the end of the year and we had actually overshot our goals that we had, that we had set by about 10%, 11%. So we literally kind of blew those goals out of the water. Now, that's awesome because as a business, I planned on a number. If that's a million dollars, I have expenses that I have to pay with that million plus what we're taking home, whatever that is. And so I remember Jeff saying, golly, we hit it. I mean, we, we nailed it. I said, well, we only nailed it because we had the goal. We knew where we were headed. We worked together daily, weekly, monthly, you know, to make sure we reached those goals. Um, sometimes I might take off, oh gosh, two weeks to go on vacation. And then I knew I only had a few days to work. So I preloaded my treatment into the next month. So I would put in the bigger treatment, the bigger cases. I'd have somebody that needed uh, several implants and a bunch of crown and bridge or a veneer case. And I would say, I was already on goal for this month. So I was telling, I said, Mary, are you, are you around? I'd really like to do this uh, July 13th or 14th that week. They'll say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm around or no. And then I'll find another time, but I'm preloading that schedule so that I know consistently over and over and over again, I'm going to be able to reach those goals. And that helps you from a business standpoint. It helps you from a personal standpoint, um, family, friends, all of those things. So hopefully this has been, uh, this, this is just something that I've, I've done for years. And again, I started out with yellow notepads today. Most of the time it's, it's on software, uh, of some type, uh, usually an Excel spreadsheet. So, um, I hope this helps. And, uh, Remember to sign up for Productive Dentist Podcast. Go to ProductiveDentist.com if you're interested in coming to one of our seminars or coming to uh, one, of our pod, uh, one of our workshops. Um, and I will listen. I mean, I will talk to you guys soon. And thanks for listening. Hi, this is Dr. Bruce Baird here. And uh, I have a question for you. Do you feel like no matter how hard you try, you can't get off the plateau and to the next level of your business. I get it. It can be incredibly frustrating to work harder and longer and not see any increase in your revenue. But I do have great news for you. Productive Dentist Academy is hosting a productivity workshop on September 22nd through the 24th in Frisco, Texas. So you and your team can come learn the tools and systems you need to get your dental practice to the next level. We've been doing this for 18 years, and it, it is a course that you really don't want to miss. Come learn for yourself what hundreds of other independent dentists have learned. You can get off the plateau. It's just about knowing what lever to pull when you're in business. To make things a little bit easier for you, if you sign up for the PDA Productivity Workshop, we will give you access to PDA Online for free and a two-hour comprehensive business advisory session so you can start increasing your revenue right now, even before September. Again, sign up for the PDA workshop and you'll get 
PDA Online and the advisory session. A $2,500 value is our free gift to you. So reserve your seat. Go to ProductiveDentist.com forward slash workshop now. That's ProductiveDentist.com forward slash workshop. This workshop is already 50% full for September. So register today to secure your seat. One last time, visit ProductiveDentist.com forward slash workshop. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the Productive Dentist Podcast. If you found this episode helpful, make sure you subscribe. Pass it along to a friend. Give us a like on iTunes and Spotify or drop me an email at podcast at ProductiveDentist.com. Don't forget to check out other podcasts from the Productive Dentist Academy at ProductiveDentistPodcast.com. Join me again next week for another episode of the Productive Dentist Podcast.